very warm welcome to this year's Day of Prayer. You join me today from the beautiful country of Honduras in Central America. And this visit is extra special. Why? Because World Vision Honduras has just celebrated its 50th year. As always on the Day of Prayer, I want to start by thanking you, our wonderful board and advisory council members, our staff and our volunteers right across the world. I want to thank you for your service and your sacrifice. You're truly changing the world for children in extremely challenging circumstances. You're working each day to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm absolutely delighted that the chosen Bible verse for this year's Day of Prayer will be read by eight-year-old Ihi. Ihi is a registered child from the rural community of Nueva Frontera here in Honduras. She will read for us Colossians 1, verses 16 to 17. Porque en el fueron creadas todas las cosas, las que hay en los cielos y en las y las que hay en la tierra visibles e invisibles sean tronos, sean demonios sean principados, sean potestades todo fue creado por medio de él y para él y él es antes de todas las cosas y todas las cosas que en él subsisten This beautiful passage speaks to us about the enormity of Jesus in this short letter the Apostle Paul leaves us in absolutely no doubt about the preeminence of Christ and his all-encompassing nature. Not only about the creation of the world and all things we see in it, but in all things we cannot see. It's a reminder that everything that we do to serve the most vulnerable children is done in Jesus, through Jesus and for Jesus. Next year, World Vision celebrates its 75th year. As we continue getting back to our roots, I see the enormity of Jesus every single day in our work. Just as we read in that passage from Colossians, we're reaching more vulnerable children in places that others cannot or will not go. Nearly three quarters of our work is now in the most vulnerable context, up from around half just a few years ago. Children are facing challenges like never before. In the Middle East, South Sudan, Sudan, the DRC, Venezuela and Myanmar, just to name a few. As one in 10 people in the world now faces chronic hunger and 45 million children suffer from wasting. You are there. You're saving lives, supporting, empowering, sharing love, bringing hope as hidden heroes of world vision. For our story of a child, I want to stay right here in beautiful Honduras and tell you about Sofia Fernanda, who we will see celebrate her fifth birthday. Sofia Fernanda is one of the six children I sponsor together with my wife, Vanessa. I caught up with her earlier today with her mum, Myrna. And it's wonderful to hear how Sophia's life has been transformed through child sponsorship. Her, her family and her whole community have seen lives transformed. We have been the hands and feet of Jesus in that community in the way that no other agency could ever hope to be. So, I want to end as I began by thanking you for transforming the lives of countless girls and boys across the world, just like Sophia. For bringing hope into a world of uncertainty, a world that so many children endure each day. For working as the hands and feet of Jesus. And I want to thank you for making more of a difference than you will ever know. May God bless you on this special day of prayer and throughout 2025. God bless you.